Hey guys and welcome to Petrolped. More and more now I'm getting electric cars to review and when I bring them home I need to charge them overnight and up until this point I've been having to do that on a three pin granny charger which for the larger battery pack cars really isn't the best way. It takes a very very long time to fully charge an electric car on a three pin granny charger. And when I had the Audi e-tron sport back recently I did mention in the video that what I really wanted to do was have a proper home charger installed but I was struggling to get hold of one. Well thanks to the guys at My Energy. That's all sorted because today I'm going to be fitting an electric car charger at home with the help of one of you peddlers. Now then, to install an electric car charger you need an electrician and I am not an electrician. But this gentleman is. Hello. <laughs> so this, now this is Kevy427. Yep, that's in right. the comments, but also Chichester electricians. That's right, yeah. So, um, brilliantly, I mean, we actually met at the, um, it was the track day, Goodwood there, back end it? of last year, and he said, do you want an electric car charger installed? If you do, give me a shout. So, as soon as this project came up, uh, that's why you're here, mate. That's it, yeah. So, Kevy's here. Now, for um, the, the guys from My Energy are on their way, but you need to do quite a bit of work before they even get here just to get everything sorted. Yeah, it's basically checking the electrical installation, your distribution board, or sometimes known as a fuse board, both in the main property and the sub-main. Yeah, and it's, it's been interesting. It's been interesting so far, if you look at the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let me talk you through what we've discovered so far. Take a look at the fuse board. Now then, it's obviously not the case that you're going to install this on your own. You're going to get a registered uh, and qualified electrician to do it. However, I thought it'd be quite interesting just to understand what it is you kind of need in your house to be able to get a charger installed. So what have you done to start with? What I've done is actually look at the installation, just a sort of quick overview of it. Um, now these are plastic fuse boards, consumer units, distribution boards, whatever you want to call them. Um, the old ones are all metal enclosures, but these are okay because it's the age of the installation. We've got RCD protection on the circuits there. I love the fact you've put a, uh, a padlock on the don't turn this on while you've got your fingers on the That's wires. Right. It's all about safe <laughs> isolation and going home at the end of the day. Now this feed here is for the garage. Yeah. Um, so I've turned that one off there, put yeah. the padlock on there so it can't be inadvertently energised. Yeah. It's about like I say, working safely. Um, that's it. So from from the from here, the the one thing you have done, which I'm dead impressed with, is you put lovely little stickers underneath all my fuses <laughs> instead of the rubbish handwritten notes before, that's and made it look lovely. That's and are there any requirements from the feed out towards the garage? Because I guess when you've got an electric car charger, you're going to have it on an outside wall or in your garage. Yeah, if it's going outside, depending on the situation, you do an assessment first of all. But we've got a nice beefy 10 millimetre armor cable going out there already. Um, so that will be adequate for the uh, demand that the charge is going to be placed on it, which is 32 amps, I believe. Cool. So that's the inside fuse box, but then the power comes out to this little shed thing I've got, and we're going to basically have to do a few bits to the fuse box in there as well. We are indeed, yes. Cool. Let's go and have a look at that. Now the pups are helping. Are you helping? It's only because Kevin gave you treats. I know. Okay, so this one wasn't quite as good, eh? No, not at all. <laughs> um, so first of all, we've got a socket in here. Um, I did you want a nice weatherproof socket out here. Um, there's no shroud on this gland here. See, what I love about it is you've come to install an electric charger, but you're actually making all of my electrics safe as well. <laughs> That's the main thing. You've got to, before you start doing stuff like that, you've got to make sure everything is up to standard. Yeah. What we'll do is turn these off, then the main switch off. So even though they're off at the main switch, you're still going to... Yep, turn them off. You always turn all these off. You don't want to be turning that off whilst it's under yeah. load. See, now I... Oh, God. <laughs> oh dear. Right, first things first, let's uh, be sure it's dead, so I'm just going to prove my... <laughs> yeah, That's your confidence point. in the wiring of my house is so high. <laughs> it's all about, again, working safely. Oh, we go on the least dangerous terminal first. Onto the incoming, like the conductors. And we've also got... Just a stray <laughs> okay. cable here. 
not Some connected to anything. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little bit of work here, Needy, first of all, before we crack up with the main all installation. Right, mate. Well, I think you best get on with it. Do you want a brew? I'd love one. <laughs> <laughs> need one of those in my life, mate. Yep, peach drink. What a cool, cool, cool gadget that is. Now then, mate, spring forward about an hour or so. <laughs> You've been busy. <laughs> an hour or so, yes. Uh, a cup of coffee that was consumed, first of all. Yes. We've got the feed here, which goes to the Minergy Zappy there. That's yep. not on an RCBO. RCBO there for the socket, and then we've got one here for the light out there. Yep. Got the new cable in. I'm just about to start cleating that in there, getting that all dressed in. And uh, so then we can just feed that cable along the wall Let's over there. Along the wall. Uh, here. And out there. And then we can connect the zappy. And the good news is, the zappy's arrived. So I'll leave you to kind of finish off there, and I'm going to go on and unbox the zappy. Let me give you that first. Oh, you thanks, get... mate. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> now then, the zappy has arrived, guys. Let me introduce Jono from My Energy. Welcome, Welcome to on. the channel, dude. How are we doing? Now then, um, so in this lovely box down here, we have a zappy home charger, and very coolly, you are a trainer for my energy I and know everything there is to know about that box. I'm I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put that to the test because one of the reasons I wanted to do this video is if you are thinking about getting a home charger installed, there are so many questions. I certainly had lots and lots of questions, but that's a really clever bit of kit. It's not just going to plug in and charge the car. It's got a lot of intelligence it as does. well and some so really more. cool features. So I think what we need to do is start a bit of unboxing. Oh, so cool. yeah. So yeah, um, while you're doing that, I'm going to fire some questions at you. <laughs> so UK made. Yes. Which is very cool. Yeah. Um, UK made. But the the stat that freaked me out this morning was um, in 18 months you've gone from 200 units a month to 10,000. Exactly. <laughs> the jump is you know amazing, and we're so happy about that. Yeah. Um, and we can't, obviously can't wait to get production and new lines in there as well, because we've been manufacturing about 3,000 charges a week. Really? Which will be insane. Yeah, which wow. we can't wait for. So while we're doing so if if um, if I'm having one of these, now there is a government grant you can get, but you do need to be buying an electric car and yes. have to prove purchase of the electric car yes, to get that. You do. Which my problem is I'm not buying an electric car. Mm -hmm. So if you're not buying one and you just want to have one installed, then yeah. you, you can't get the grant. But, exactly. But there is a grant. There is. It's three, £350 for the grant. Yeah. Uh, basically, the installer has to get this grant and not the owner who's buying the battery vehicle, yeah. buying the charger. Mm -hmm. um, so they claim it back. So basically, they're taking the £350 off the install. Yeah. And they will claim it back after the install. Rock on. Yeah, Everyone's I get happy it. with it. So they'll... Yeah. It's all the earnest with cool. them then. Um, and then, this, I'm so excited <laughs> to see actually. So um, there are a couple of different versions of this. This is the tethered one, so yep. it's got the cable um, this is speed the, charger. Yeah, the cable that's hardwired into the Zappy already. This comes with a 6.5 meter lead. So yep. plenty of distance for like working on the wall here so you can get to either bay, which is yep. perfect. And um, the other one is untethered. So that you use the cable that either comes with the EV or a cable that you can buy externally from uh, other parties, yeah. so you can buy longer cables, I think up to about 10 meters. And I believe my energy actually are starting to sell their own leads. It's a cool looking thing. I think the, there's two color choices, aren't you? You can get the white one or the black one, yes. but the black one's the tethered. Uh, they could both come in oh, black they? and white for cool. the tethered, yeah. I've gone for black and it's going to go on the wall just underneath that sign just there. So, um, yeah, let's uh, get it out and we'll have a, have a good look through what we've got in the box. But then there are a couple of other bits of kit as well. Mm -hmm. You've got the hub and the Harvey, which we yeah. need to talk about. So we've got the hub. So basically that makes this charger technically smart. So you can, you have, you can monitor like, the time of use data with the charger. Um, you can upgrade firmware, which is highly recommended because like any electronics uh, software, you need to update that constantly all the time yep. and you've got the use of the my, uh, my energy app which is really good so it just expands the customer's experience with the yep. charger so you can utilize you can change from different char charge times uh, put it in time smart boost manual boost how much kilowatt hour you want in your car by a certain time or by mobile phone which is perfect cool. and then we've got the harvey which is literally just a wireless transmitting design uh, device for ct data so yep. we have our ct clamp which we'll have back at source in your house and then so we don't have to hardwire all the way back yeah. So basically, we want to monitor the whole property which uh, the load is using. We can just use the Harvey, and that will just wirelessly transmit any CT data from that live tail to the top of the wall. Cool. OK, 
Chevy 427. You're never going to get COVID <laughs> like that, mate. <laughs> No chance, nothing gets through here, that's for sure. <laughs> so then, uh, while Kevin is attaching the cabling and stuff to put the Zaffy on the wall, let's have a bit of a chat about this, this sure. little hub. So we just popped inside and hardwired that to the wireless router in my house, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just done a firmware upgrade. It does. Which is quite cool. Yep. Um, but this is where, for me, Zappy starts to get really clever with what this does. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna communicate with the Zappy Yep. But it's going to tell it about the usage of electricity in my house. Well, basically, we've got that hub is a bridge for the Zappy to basically get connected to the internet. Yeah. So it's that will connect to the internet. We can, like I say uh, before, it downloads a new hub firmware. Uh, sorry, downloads a new Zappy firmware. We can then use the mobile app. So you can then effectively, through the mobile app, control the zappy through this and it'll send the signal to the zappy and then it will either stop your charge start your charge you know how much kilowatt hour everything we said earlier about what the hub can do so so one of the things that and, and I, I kind of the reason i wanted to do the video is you would think you just plug the car in and it just charges like your phone charges overnight mm. but through the app i can say to the zappy look i want my car charged by nine o'clock tomorrow morning yeah but it will then analyze my energy tariff if i'm on a suitable energy provider and charge the car when the price of the electricity is at its cheapest yeah the portal what we uh well we've got released but we're still working on always working on it is basically you can sign up to this so when you've got your hub you can sign up to the manager portal and then like you say the agile tariff it'll then pick out the cheaper tariff rates, the half an hour pocket windows, and actually then charge your car at them cheaper rates. So it's, you're not having to go back out to your car, you know, let's say effectively you go out to your car, stopping the charge, now we've got a cheaper tariff, keep turning it on again, yeah. the portal does that all for you, through the hub, and sends that to these app Yeah. So it's doing it all for you online. It's really clever. So that, that for me, that that's, that's the first bit of very cool tech. Yeah. Very cool. All right, let's see how Kevin's getting on. <laughs> so the, one of the reasons Jono's here, so it, when you get one of these installed, you wouldn't necessarily have you rock up every time. No. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm very lucky, because yes. I wanted to, we wanted to share your experience and understanding about the Zappy. But the other thing you're doing, which is really cool, is also helping the installer, Kevin, yes. understand exactly the best way to install the yeah, device. Yeah, it's his first time uh, installing it, and like anyone when they're doing the first install, they need to know how, to, how it works yeah. and stuff. Brilliant installer. Is he really taking it to it well? I'll just talk him through how to put it on the wall, get it configured, and we'll be cool. right as rain, yeah. ready to go. Wicked. All right, let's see how he's getting on. Now then, while the guys are busy in the background fitting the zappy and Jono's just helping Kevin understand the best way to fit it to the wall, let me just talk a little bit about electricity supplier. Because my supplier I use is actually Octopus Energy, which coincidentally are the sponsors of Vintage Voltage. And Octopus Energy have, first of all, the reason I use them is because they are a completely green supplier, so they get all of their sources from renewables and so on. But they have a range of different tariffs. And interestingly, when I contacted them, I'm not on the best tariff for me for this Zappy. So what I can do is change to an agile tariff, but I can only do that if I have a smart meter. Now, like many electricity suppliers, Octopus will install a smart meter with no charge to me. So what I'm gonna do is it, uh, arrange for that to be installed, because what will then happen is the Zappy and the smart meter can communicate with each other and the Zappy hub that we've just been talking about will understand the tariff and the, the differences in the cost of units of electricity that happen throughout different times of the day. So when I ask my car to be charged through the app on my phone, the hub um, is understanding when the best, or if you like, the most cost effective times there are in the evening, probably in the middle of the night to charge the car. And, and that's really clever. The other thing that I really like about this Zappy is that you could also, if you had them, and we don't at the moment, but if you had solar panels or could generate your own electricity, you can tap into that as well. So interestingly, on the barn where we are uh, installing the Zappy, uh, one of the things we have potentially um, thought about is putting some solar panels on the back of the roof. Um, and we could actually charge the car for free from our own electricity, which is pretty cool, really. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really interesting process. I just didn't realize how how much there was to something that you might just think it's a car charger but they're clever clever bits of tech now before we put the front cover on mate you've got to talk your nuts 
talk about treatment that's nice and tight to the correct torque settings. What's the what's the torque setting on this? These are 1.2 newton meters. Oh, here we go. Look at that hand. <laughs> hand. It's a <laughs> proper team effort. And that just clips in place anyway. Mate, that looks really cool. <laughs> so next thing we need to do is a bit of config. Yep, a bit of configuration, set the grid limits, get a Harvey, get a hub paired to the device, make it smart. Right. And we can crack on. Crack on with that then. Let's do it. So we've got to configure it now. We do. So we're going to configure this. The first thing we'll do, we'll configure it to the hub. So we'll get the hub connected. And the first thing we need to do is set the master. So we need to set this as a master so the devices inside the house know what we're actually connecting to. Yep. It's like, right, we need to connect to this master here. Now, we're going to pair it. Well, actually, the first thing we can do is go in the house, press pair on the hub, and I'll click pair mode in here, and we'll get them connected. All right, I'll go and do that then. Perfect. All right, my telecoms background should be enough this is perfect for me for to know what to do. Yeah. You're too over-educated for this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you can come again. <laughs> Have we got success? We've got success. we found the hub. So we're going to now connect the Harvey up. Okay. So do, we're going to go, go, we can go back inside and do the same again. Oh, God, but there's another button for me to press. Another button, yeah, another one. I, I, didn't, just... I didn't want to do two at once because, like, you know, it's, a, it's quite a, technical. Yeah, it's very technical. So <laughs> I'll go in and push another button then. Excellent. Just, okay. just the one. <laughs> just the one. That was a complicated task that Jono gave me there. Two buttons pressed within the space of three minutes. I reckon I might well have, might well have sorted it. Yeah, I've done it. <laughs> yeah, it was really complicated. Yeah, that was really hard. That. Um, so <laughs> well, so I asked people before in jobs and they've clicked it twice. And I've gone no, just the once. I did we have twice. To do it again. A double click. It was a double click, wasn't it? Yeah, we we'll have to go back in. Oh man. <laughs> so now we just. What it is great. We we're, we're searching for slaves again. What are you two up to? Hello. Do you want to say hello to the masses? <laughs> While we're waiting for it to connect and register and you're you're wrapping the flex around, why is the zappy that size, Jono? That is because, <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, because I'm wrapping the cable round, that needs to be the size, because if it was any smaller, it'd start damaging this cable. Yep. And I'm making the cable wrapping look hard work, by the way. You are, yeah. It's hard work. See what I mean? So yeah, yeah. As soon as the camera came And you me, thought me pushing thought, buttons was hard. You're getting me back for this, aren't you, now? Yeah, and yeah. Look, give this a little bit of a twist. Yeah, like make it look neat and, that, and tidy. Otherwise, Kev, Kev's OCD will kick in <laughs> and he won't be happy. And then that just plugs in there. That just plugs in around here. See how effortlessly I made that then? That, that was, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a skill, my friend. That's a skill. Make this nice and tidy. So the big question is, have we got a Harvey and a hub connected? Yes, yeah, so we've got the Harvey, now we're just doing generation. Yep. So we go back to here. Oh, we can see that you're actually importing like 200 watts. It's not even a very thirsty house at all, that. It's very, very nice. Really? 0 0.2 kilowatts. You're having 200 watts in the house at the moment. Well, I'm trying to think we've probably not got much on. You might be just charging maybe the laptop or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's about it. Cool. So now we'll get the, uh, yeah, sorted with the app. Yeah, mate. So that's all set up now. That that's very cool. So you've got the different feeds. So that's what's coming in from the power grid. Yep. We've got so the um, pylon. Yeah. Is our grid import export. So you can see here oh, importing cool. power, grid history. Yeah. So it's showing you your spikes. You know when you charge your car or what any other when appliance you the kettle. Else, when you boil the kettle. Uh, don't get obsessive over the kettle. No, the no, don't. That's why I yeah, don't have a smart meter in the house because I need my head in. So that's, <laughs> that's the house using power. Wow, that's really cool. And then what's that one? We've got the Zappy. So here. Oh, wow, from, that's cool. Yeah, like we were saying before, from Eco, Eco Plus, Stop. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Boost settings. Charge history. Obviously, we haven't got any charge history. But you've, although the, the, what we'd ideally now have is an electric car to charge it up. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but so when, it's in that, when it's actually charging, it's in the modes, it will yeah. then go cycle through each mode when you're yeah. charging the car. But you've been able to test that, um, even though we haven't got a car here, so. Do you send that to Eco mode now? Oh, look. It's on the phone. Hey, look at that. There you go. That's cool. So yeah, so you, but you've been able to do a test on that, even though we don't have a car here. Yeah, we've got to use our EBSE test box. Yeah. So that's going to uh, we we'll just basically with what the test box did was just simulate a car being plugged in, yeah. test the RCD board, make sure everything's fine, and then yeah, you're good to go. Cool. So is that pretty much it then? That's it. Oh, that is it. Cool. And any problems? 
You were... You haven't got my number and delete it. <laughs> <laughs> Jono! <laughs> so there we go, gents. All fully fitted and working. Um, so a couple of big, big thank yous. First of all, Kevy 427 Chichester Electricians. I'll put all of the details below. If you need uh, not just a home charger fitting, but you need any electrical work in the Chichester or... What's your, what's your catchment area? Just Chichester Forest Paling. I have tools will travel. <laughs> 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 then I'll put Kev's details below. So uh, honestly, highly, highly recommended. Proper quality. Uh, but then Jono and Chris from My Energy, a massive, massive thank you for today. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, it's been really interesting just to kind of find out they are really clever bits of technology and I can't wait to start using it I just need to get myself an electric car now <laughs> that's a key element but but really really interesting the way it kind of ties in with your electricity supplier because you can also tie it in with things if you've got solar panels and yep. um, in your own electricity any, any micro generation yeah it could be hydro wind could yeah. be solar panels on the roof yeah so one thing we might as I mentioned already in the video we might think about putting solar panels on the roof so then Perfect. we'll get you in to come and install those and do you do solar panels? That's a new one on me. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a round two. I can come back and see yeah. how it integrates for all this and there solar. That sounds like a good plan. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Again, I'll put uh, my energy's details below. Um, if you're interested in a um, uh, charger for your car, um, UK company growing at a rapid rate of knots. An exponential rate. It's, it's unbelievable. 200 units a month to 10,000 units a month in 18 months. And it's going like that still. Yeah, it is. It is. We're, we're proud of it and we're just looking forward to the future and yeah. we'll just listen to what everyone wants and cool. we're trying to give that. Well, thanks very much indeed uh, for, the, for the charger. I can't wait to use it in anger. <laughs> and uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrobed for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, guys. We're off for a cup of tea now. Indeed. You take care. Just for a Drive safe.